Hey, what's up guys? Justin Johnson here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Black Mountain Thumb Pick. So the Black Mountain Thumb Pick is a new take on the idea of a thumb pick. Essentially, it's taking a flat pick, which most guitar players are used to playing with, and basically adding this spring-mounted unit to the side of it so that you can play it comfortably just like you would with a flat pick, but when you want to start breaking into finger style and using your four remaining fingers, the flat pick actually stays attached to your thumb just like a thumb pick would. And so you can seamlessly go from playing your normal flat picking style And when you play like that, it feels just like you're still holding a flat pick. But when you want to break into finger style mode, you don't have to hold on to that pick anymore, and you can go straight into what it normally feels like when you play finger style mode. So the spring mounted unit that's attached to the Black Mountain pick is designed to where when you put your thumb in, it snugly holds your thumb and the pick together. It holds the pick in place and yet it still gives you a little bit of give to where you can control the volume and the intensity and the articulation of your picking and your strumming just like you normally would when you're holding a flat pick. There's two types of springs for each of their different sizes and gauges of thumb picks. They have a regular spring uh, that has regular tension, which is what I'm uh, holding right now. And then they have an extra firm tension spring where the spring has more tension and it holds on tighter to your thumb. Also, just like a flat pick, um, the Black Mountain thumb pick comes in different gauges. So you've got a, a heavier gauge, which is what I'm playing right now, which uh, works great for strumming at higher volumes. I like it for uh, playing acoustics with uh, bigger string gauges. And it also works really well when you're playing single notes and you want to come across a little bit louder, um, you know, carry a little more volume, especially for lead guitar. If you prefer a thinner pick, uh, which is generally, I'd say, better for strumming and for playing on lighter gauge strings, they also have a, uh, a pick here that is a lighter gauge. So again, it bends a little easier. The pick itself is a little bit more flexible, and you really get a nice feel, uh, again, especially for strumming. And you can see like in that playing example, you get that great um, kind of medium soft attack on the strings with that, with that lighter pick, but then you can still break into finger picking whenever you want. And that's one of the things I love about the Black Mountain picks. You know, so you could be strumming. And then break into that finger picking. And like you saw there, it goes straight back into that strumming. That allows you not only to control the pick the way you're used to, like you're used to doing it with a flat pick, but it gives you the ability to control those dynamics and build the song up and down and take it places that you couldn't comfortably take it if you were just using a flat pick. And again, the reason for that is because you always have to hold on to a flat pick. You always have to have your index finger holding that flat pick on and against your thumb. And so when you want to employ your other fingers, you have to use hybrid picking, which is when you're holding the pick between your index finger and your thumb, and you only have three remaining fingers. But with the Black Mountain pick, 
you still get the feel of the flat pick again, but now you have the freedom of using all of your fingers when you go into finger style mode. So in addition to having the two different gauges, uh, the Black Mountain Picks also has a different shaped pick. And this third type of pick is their jazz tipped pick. And you can see here, so here's the traditional thumb pick that I was just playing right here. It's got that shape that I think everyone thinks of when they think of a guitar pick. But the jazz tipped pick, the one right here, has a slightly smaller shape overall. Um, and it also has a sharper tip to it. A lot of players who are used to playing a faster lead and a lot of really articulate single note playing prefer the jazz tipped pick because uh, again, it gives you that sharper tip. It's a, a little more articulate and also the smaller overall pick size allows it to be a little bit closer. The tip of the pick is a little bit closer to your actual thumb. So there's less space between your thumb and the string. And even though the difference might seem small between one pick shape and the other, I think that it's a really personal thing and it connects to your individual playing style that when you try the different picks, you'll find that one is uh, a little more transparent on your hand and allows you to play in the style that you're used to just a little bit more, which is also great that a Black Mountain pick offers a uh, kind of like a bundle where you can try out the different sizes of picks and I really recommend that uh, when you're first trying them out so that you get to know all of the different sizes because each one is good for different styles of playing and um, you know they really have their own personality once you get to know them. So now I'm gonna play with the jazz tipped thumb pick here. And you can really tell a difference uh, with that jazz tipped pick. Um, while it doesn't, I think, perform as well on some of the strumming techniques where you, that wider pick and that bigger size lets you kind of dig in and get a, a different sort of flap against the strings. When you're really wanting to like zero in like a microscope on one string, that sharp tip really gives you that edge. In addition to having several different gauges and several different shapes for the picks, and several different spring tensions. If you want to further adjust the pick to where the angle of the pick is a certain direction, or you want it to fit your thumb, you know, perfectly, then you can actually heat the pick up in a hot water and you can actually change the shape of the plastic itself on that thumb ring. And there's instructions on how to do that on the Black Mountain Thumb Picks page. And so that covers all the different picks uh, that Black Mountain Picks currently has to offer. But what they just released is really cool. Using that same um, basic concept here with the spring and the thumb ring, they just released the Black Mountain Slide. It's basically a similar concept. It has this same kind of uh, spring-loaded tab right here that goes around your finger. Only you push this up onto the middle knuckle of your middle finger. Whenever you want to break into, let's say, some slide guitar phrases, you've got that Black Mountain slide on your knuckle, and um, you can just go straight into them, have some fun. All right, so those are the Black Mountain Thumb Picks and the Black Mountain Slide. And you can find out more about those, all the information, the different uh, sizes, all of that good stuff at their website. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.